Hello, sorry I haven't done a few um, videos in a while, um, had a, took a little break, um, had a, some family over and um, made all the Olympics all that, um, just decided to uh, chill out. Um, but aside from chilling out, um, I've made a, a new piece of uh, software for quantum programming. Uh, well, it wasn't just me, it was with a few programmers as well. Um, basically what I've made is a software called the Quantum Programming Framework. Basically what it does is, um, it allows you to create and run your own uh, quantum programs on a PC uh, using the D-Wave emulator. So um, I'll just get straight onto it, um, you know, show you the different features and um, you know, just leave you to uh, judge it for yourself really. Um, it's right here, um, it's still in the beta stages so you know, if you want the software you know, to test out, and um, just give me your um, email and I'll send you it. And uh, so just click it. Here we are. Um, a lot of the programs I was working with was thinking, um, you know, go for GUI, but um, I decided to keep it old school, you know, like um, Backtrack, Metsploit. Um, oh, I mean the Metsploit, uh, sorry, <laughs> Metsploit console, not the uh, Metsploit GUI. Um, but I'm just getting off a beaten track, aren't I? Um, it's basically, yeah, quantum programming framework, 0.6 beta. So yeah, this framework will let you run different quantum programs on your computer using the D-Wave emulator. Um, I still need to get permission from D-Wave. Um, I sent them an email like a month ago and they haven't um, replied yet. Um, in fact, I'd be on the forums and um, there doesn't be much activity on there, neither. So. Um, I won't say they're inactive, but um, they're taking their time. Um, so yeah. Um, so um, I'll go on the first part. Um, the first part is um, basically it's a tutorial, um, an introduction, um, introduction to quantum programming for beginners. Um, no mouse clicks, nothing. Just uh, pick a choice, click. Uh, so um, basically what this is, um, it's sort of like um, a manual, um, well, actually really it's an introduction to quantum programming as a whole. Um, what we have is, um, sort of like a book really, um, compiled by uh, me and my friend um, Jin Dae-su, um, um, who's a programmer in Korea, who's got into quantum programming. Um, see so yeah, I just go, here we are. So yeah, um, haven't made that yet. I'm gonna make it. Um, gonna put a lot more content in that. Um, so f first choice here. Um, well, that was not. <laughs> I don't want to confuse you. Um, is to create a program. Basically, what it does is um, it just sends you to the Python shell, so you can you know create your own programs, and, you know save them, and yeah, all that. Um, the second choice is um, a program I did um, I did a video of uh, before, uh, phase transitioning, which basically shows the net magnetization of a qubit or an atom, whatever you want to call it. Same thing really. Um, press two, and it will launch the quantum program. Give it some time though, because um, I tried to make it a lot more accurate um, by adding a lot more samples. I think about five thousand samples. Um, see ya. And um, the third one is the Hello Multiverse program. Um, that was the first ever quantum program I did a video of, I think. And um, they've changed it now. Um, the program that you've probably um, seen won't work anymore because they've updated it. Um, I'll show you the new program now. Uh, Give some time. So yeah, um, I'll do a video on that later because um, you know it'll take a lot more explaining to do. Basically, it just gives a lot more info than the original program, which was um, the original program really was just basic and um, show show the basic string really. Um, this shows more, a lot more info as you can see. Um, so yeah, and the next one is a quantum program I made, which is basically a quantum brooter. Um, 
me and a few programs have been um, doing a lot on this recently. Um, you know, can quantum program be applied to you know um, computer security? Um, what we were thinking was, um, or we've been trying to do, is um, see if we can um, break a 128-bit encryption using a 128 qubit processor, you know, on the D-Wave computer. So um, hopefully, when the D-Wave um, when D-Wave releases the cloud service, we'll be able to um, you know test that theory out. You know, can the D-Wave quantum computer break a 128-bit encryption? So that'd be pretty nice. Um, let's go on to it now. Um, it's not going to you know properly break um, break a 128-bit encryption until we get an actual quantum computer. You know, test it. Test. Um, you know the brutes are out. Um, since a few, few um, virtual brutes are made, um, it's pretty easy. Um, although I'm guessing when we um, actually release it for the quantum computer, it's going to be um, a lot harder to use, really. But we'll try and make it simple. Um, also, um, you know, to make it a lot more easier, um, we've put the source codes right here, so you can just um, you know go to it and you know. Edit it and whatnot. Um, or what's it? So, and um, yeah, it's for all of them as well. So, Helen Motors program, you know, Quant Brewer. I'm going to show you the Quant Crypt one. Um, Reasons because I haven't really released it yet and I'm still developing it. Um, you can also change colour. I don't know why I put that on really. Um, it's just a feature I put on. So, there you go. Yellow's my favourite though. So yeah, um, you know it's not much in GUI, but um, you know I like command-based software. You know, it's pretty old school. So um, that's pretty pretty much it until um, I do an update. Um, next update should you know put more things in, you know, more quantum programs. Um, I'll try and get this um, um, <laughs> theoretical brute, um, you know, up to scratch. Um, so yeah, um, what else I was going to say? Ah yes, um, me and um, some programmers, um, well, sorry, <laughs> what I've been trying to do is um, find some more programmers, you know, for us to, um, you know, work with and get, you know, this stuff running, you know, try and get quantum programming out there. So, um, if, you know, if you want to get into quantum programming, um, just email me. Um, if you want to, you know, help work on this, email me. If you want to work on the US, email me. Um, yeah, it'll be pretty fun. Um, also, uh, what my next video will be? Um, probably be you know, actually quite a lot of videos. Probably um, got a few gameplay videos coming out, and um, you know some more programming videos. So um, yeah, I've got quite a lot to do. Oh, uh, well. um, so I'll see you for the next video. Good day.